We both have 2011 on board, and uh, we previously recognized about 32 milestones, but now we have about only 18 milestones. Uh, out of these milestones, four is uh, in 2011, five in 2012, uh, three 2003, and three in 2004, and also three in 2015. So as you can see, these are all my milestones. You can go. Okay. The first milestone is uh, launch of car to go which is uh, actually Vancouver is the first Canadian city. And uh, after us in the second North American city, uh, which uses a car to go uh, Of course, the Modo and Zipcar are the, the other uh, kind of uh, these uh, mobility choice, but the car to go is the uh, most innovative and uh, car share program in Vancouver. Okay, so second, um, our second milestone is Viva Vancouver. Working with various community partners, Viva Vancouver a public uh, space program focuses on repurposing road space to create temporary or semi-permanent public space, such as parklets, Viva Granule, Viva Robson, and but by this, they are creating welcoming public spaces with active forms of transportation, and at the same time, they are promoting vibrant local businesses. So here are, here are a few examples. One is the installation, uh, summer installation of 2011, and the other is the parklet and commercial drive. The other milestone is the Green City Action Plan, uh, which is a roadmap to becoming uh, from Vancouver to becoming the greenest city in the world by two, uh, 20, 2020. Uh, as you can see, there are 10 goals uh, which form the structure of uh, this plan, uh, including green economy, climate leadership, green buildings, green transportation, zero waste access to nature, lighter footprint, clean, clean water, clean air, and local food. And the opening of the Vancouver's first two library is our other milestone, which is entirely a volunteer run uh, library, and is part of a growing movement for the sharing economy and the step forward or the greenest city and realize, realization of the greenest city action plan. The other milestone is the climate change adaptation strategy. As you can see, there are nine primary actions of the strategy. Uh, including completing a coastal flood, flood risk assessment, amending flood proofing policies, developing and implementing a citywide integrated stormwater management plan, continuing with sewer separation, developing a backup power policy, continuing to, implementing, uh, to implement water conservation actions, supporting and expanding extreme heat planning, and the other ones that I won't go through that. Uh, by this one, Vancouver um, is the first Canadian city to adopt a climate change adaptation strategy. So tra Transportation 2040 succeeds the Transportation 1997 plan. Over two years of extensive consultation with 18,000 citizens, the City Council approved this strategic vision that aims to make at least two-thirds of their trips on foot, bike, and public transit and substantially this will reduce the city's dependence on fossil fuels. Few of the salient projects that are completed and undergoing are the rehabilitation and maintenance of the Falls Creek Bridge, the Seaside Greenway, York Bikeway, which is recently complete and this was approved by the council in 2012. Neighborhood energy strategy is another uh, milestone which uh, which is aiming at uh, reducing carbon emissions, decreasing our dependence on fossil fuels, keeping energy affordable in long term, and providing the, actually the roadmap for neighborhood energy development in the city. The result of this strategy will be environmentally friendly, cost competitive heat and hot water in high density neighborhoods in Vancouver. And the other uh, interesting milestone, which I really like, that is the return of salmon to Steel Creek, which is the result of uh, 10 years of habitat restoration, <coughs> enlightenment of creeks, and enhancement work on especially Steel Creek that was done by the city of Vancouver. 
and with the collaboration with Burnaby. And uh, it, this creek is one of the only two remaining visible streams in the city, in urban Vancouver, actually. And uh, after nearly 80 years, salmon return to this creek. The other milestone is uh, the designation of the city-owned site for a new Vancouver Art Gallery, which was approved in April 24. Uh, this, mm, the new uh, Vancouver Art Gallery will be an innovative and inspiring visual art museum. Uh, it is expected to be uh, one of the most environmentally sustainable art museums in Canada. Uh, it will be located at 688 Cambia Street, uh, which is currently a park parking lot, and will enhance definitely Vancouver's international reputation as a significant contemporary art museum. So our next milestone is the Falls Creek Flats. The city plans to promote Falls Creek Flats as one of the greenest places to walk in the world. The area will showcase the city's best green innovation, feature green buildings and infrastructure, and attract new capital. At the same time, the significant part being the area will eventually house over 500 businesses and 8,000 8, jobs and may will make up 15% of Vancouver's industrial land base. This was approved by the City Council in 2013. Vancouver House is our other milestone, which is scheduled for completion in 2018. The tower will be the fifth tallest tower in the city and will be as a la landmark and definitely will change the skyline of the downtown Vancouver. When completed, the Vancouver House uh, will be amongst the world's first LEED Platinum certified high-rise residential towers. And in other terms, in terms of public room, uh, also this project will be significant for the city. And yours are doing that. <laughs> <laughs> the other one is Oak Ridge Center's rezoning and redevelopment uh, project. Uh, this project also went fully completed, uh, complicated, uh, completed in 2024, uh, 24, uh, will include 14 towers between 9 and uh, 44 stories and will be the only town centers within the city of Vancouver but outside of the downtown. And it will be a 1.5 billion project and the tallest of these towers will be the city's highest outside of downtown. The other milestones that we worked on is improving the quality of light, uh, life in downtown east side through the local area plan for uh, downtown east side. It is, um, downtown east side is one of the Vancouver's oldest neighborhoods and uh, the historic part of the city. So, uh, but at the same time struggles with different challenges, providing a vision, policies, and strategies for downtown east side that um, this plan actually aims at improving the lives of low-income residents and make it more livable, safe, and supportive place to live for all diverse residents of this area. The Western Laneway Housing 2.0 Infill Program allows for low-rise laneway infill housing. The community seeks to repurpose the underutilized surface parking lots by introducing small incremental developments, and that will, which in return, uh, will increase the return on investment from the new public infrastructure. The first two Linway infill projects, uh, both which are rental housing, were approved recently in November 2014 by the Development Permit Board, and the plan itself was approved uh, by the Council in 2013. So the towards our left is an illustration of the potential infill housing as uh, suggested in the guidelines, and one of the projects which was recently approved is 1546 Nelson Street. So that's a proposed perspective. And a favorite milestone. <laughs> <laughs> Which I don't say anything. <laughs> Uh, the Mayor's Council developed a plan in collaboration with the Government of British Columbia, Translake and several other municipalities in order to accommodate 1 million new residents in the next 30 years. The plan aims to reduce traffic congestion by 20% which will reduce daily commute by 20 to 30 minutes 
and the significant projects would be the Broadway subway corridor, LRT in Surrey and Langley, replacement of the Patulo Bridge, and 11 new B lines, uh, ra rapid bus routes. And the voting is open right now. And our last and best uh, milestone is the UBC's tallest wooden structure, which aims to be the tallest wooden building in, uh, in the world with 16 to 18 store floors with a height of 53 meters. UBC aims to complete its wooden tower with a minimum of LEED Gold certification. And the project is estimated to be around $30 million. And the occupancy might, the project might be completed uh, towards the end of September, 20, uh, towards the end of 2017. Okay, that's it. Thank you.